With Jazz and Knockout being as fan love characters as they are, it was only a matter of time before Hasbro decided to make new figures of them with better articulation and uh, kind of looks almost exactly like them. That's where the studio series Jazz comes in, which looks just like Jazz, and later comes the Legacy Knockout, which doesn't quite look completely like him. Starting out in vehicle mode, Jazz turns into an unlicensed Porsche 935, which is personally one of my favourite vehicles. But with it being one of my favourite vehicles, I can tell that things aren't quite right with it. Like, the hood isn't long enough, but that's fine because they need to look right in robot mode. Which is personally, it's fine, it's a non-issue. The second thing that sticks out to me are these side panels on the doors, as... They kind of stick out a bit further than they should, but again, it's not much of an issue. It's just something that pers personally annoys me, but I love how it works. They got all the little details in. I love it. Like the wheels, they tried getting them to have the pattern that the 935 had, which is, is a good effort. They did try. Like, the, you've got all the little hood details, it's really nice. I love the fact that they've put the number on the side of the door, even though it's not the right number, but that's kind of have to do with copyright, I guess. I just love how Jazz has turned out. And Knockout turns into an exact replica, mostly, from his character car model from Prime, which I think was based on an Aston Martin, I'm not quite sure, I'm not actually that good with cars, but just looking at this and then looking at the the show model, it looks just like the car did. Like, it's got the, the hood scoop vent things, don't exactly know what they are, but they're the side things on the hood. It's got the detailing, the grill looks perfect. The back of the car isn't quite show accurate, but that's... There's only so far I can go with it being a retool and everything. Now, the weird thing is they managed to get the detail on the side, but it's not the exact detail. It's fine because on a scale this small, I don't think they'd be able to get in as picture perfect as they want it, despite the fact that they got the Decepticon logo on there as small as possible. Personally, I like how it looks here compared to the original show model's detailing. I I like the simplicity of it for the legacy b version, pretty much. These two look so good together that I just had to take some photos, so here they are. Transformation is kind of easy, I guess. It starts pretty much by opening the doors and then folding the arms out. It's quite easy. I reckon if you just buy one of them and pick them up, you can easily do it. There is a little trickiness with the hood scoops, though. As, well, not hood scoops, like moving the panel from the hood and then getting the head out. That's kind of hard. Now... I've, my only issue I've found with it is, well, on Jazz, because his roof is made out of clear blue plastic. It feels like it can break any day now, and I'm scared that it will, because I, I don't want to go out and buy another one, but I might just end up having to do that. But, like, they, they fixed it with Knockout. They get, gave Knockout a better, uh, thicker plastic. But I just feel like Jazz can break any day now, which is really, really not what I'm looking forward to. But otherwise, the transformations are quite easy. And I actually do a little extra step that's rotating the wheel arches past their normal point. Just to get, just to slim them down a bit more. As on Knockout, he's a bit chunky in the leg section, so rotate them all the way around to try and slim them out and jazz i just like how it looks on him so that's why i do it here we are in robot mode and they look amazing jazz looks just like how he did in the g1 movie and cartoon they've managed to get all the details down like the head 
it looks amazing on Jazz. Like, if you look back at the Power of the Primes one, it didn't look that good. So I'm glad we got an updated head sculpt here that even the Space Jazz figure that just came out is using. Which, I, I love the fact that they're using this amazing head sculpt for Jazz. And Knockout... He looks good, but he doesn't look like the show model. That's due to him being a retool and the fact that they're making the prime characters go through this G1 filterization, making more generations like. Like, I you can tell it's Knockout, but it doesn't look like Knockout did in the show. Because you can tell that he's got all of Jazz's parts pretty much, like the waist and the shins. They're just Jazz's and the arms. But at least his head sculpt looks almost like him. It's it's close, but they gave him a nose and then took away his nose guard. Which I can fix with paint, or maybe if Toy Hacks made a little sticker for it. But like, I reckon adding a nose guard to this head for a knockout would just make him look even weirder now. Alright, it's like... It's like I saw how he looked in the show, looked at this, and just disassociated their heads with each other. Like, this looks like Knockout, and the show's model looks like Knockout. But, I love that they managed to get what he could, basically what he looked like, close enough. And, I mean, to be fair, Knockout is the type of bot that will sacrifice his robot mode in favour for his vehicle mode anyway. Articulation is pretty standard. They've got a ball joint at the head, which allows for some up, some down, and a swivel. The arms go all the way around and up 90. There's bicep swivel, elbow bends are 90. Hands do hands fold in for transformation. There's a waist swivel. There's a thigh swivel. Legs go forward all the way, back all the way, and out to the side all the way, so unimpeded in all directions. Uh, thigh swivel, there's a knee bend, and then there's a shin bend for transformation, which can give you a deep knee bend. And they and their foot pivot is really deep, which I quite like the, the, the amount of posability we do have here. Accessory-wise, Jazz comes with his gun from the G1 show, and I don't think it was even featured in the movie. Uh, I love how much detail they've given it. It's quite nice. It's clearly his gun, so I quite like it. And Knockout comes with his spear weapon thing that can separate into a gun and a spear. Well, spear tip. But... The way they've molded it is weird. There's only two points for him to hold it in the spear mode as they've molded this chunk on the end, making it so he can't hold it like a normal spear. Because the actual shaft itself is 5mm, but because they've molded on this little chunk at the end, it makes him weird and holding it in poses. So it's something that's really annoying. But these two look great in poses, so I had to take some pictures. So here they are. This has been the review for Studio Series Jazz and Legacy Knockout. Tell me, what do you think of these figures? Do you like them or did you skip them entirely? Personally, I reckon you pick them up. They're great and worth the price, which is about 35 bucks here. But I say pick them up. They're great. They're worth the price. And they're, they're fun. They're fun. Thanks for watching.